After three and a half years of drought, God ordered Elijah to return to Israel. King Ahab met him at the city gate. You are the curse of Israel. How dare you come back to Israel? <laughs> You're so angry. Didn't your god Baal give you any rains yet? It's all because of you. It's all your tricks. The people are suffering because of you. Hmm. Then listen to me. Gather all the people of Israel on Mount Carmel tomorrow. Huh? You must invite all the priests and prophets of Baal too. What are you going to do? You will see that tomorrow. The people of Israel assembled at Mount Carmel the next day. All the priests and prophets of Baal were there too. There were as many as 850 of them present there. How long are you going to worship two different gods? How long will you keep changing your mind? If the Lord is God, follow Him. But if Baal is God, then you follow Him. This is what we are going to do. I am the only prophet left of the Lord and Baal has over 850. Get two bulls and place one on each altar, but do not light the fire. Whoever sends the fire to consume the sacrifice will be the one true God. That's a great idea. Yes, we'll know who is true God today. Ah, what does he think he's doing? He is challenging us. What if we fail? Yes, I'm scared. The king will kill us if we fail. What are you afraid of? Get the bulls. Prove that Baal is your true god. Prophet Elijah looks so confident. Look at the priest of Baal. They are shaking like leaves. <laughs> well, there are about 800 of Baal's priests here. Let them start first. Bring the bulls. Baal's priest prepared the altar. They laid the wood, cut up the bull and laid placed it on the altar. Then they started calling out to Baal, their god. Lord Baal, send down the fire. Fire, 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 God Baal. 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 My god. I hope this works. What happened? Your God is not hearing your prayers? Call louder. Maybe he's sleeping or must have gone out for a walk. Shout louder. <laughs> fire, 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 God Baal. The priests shouted and danced around the altar yelling to Baal to start the fire. They shouted and shouted from morning to noon with no answer. Why isn't our God sending the fire? Is it? Maybe he isn't the true God at all. Hmm. Let's see if Elijah's God sends the fire. Elijah's altar. Finally, Elijah called the people over to his altar. He began to make his altar. He placed the woods, took some stones and put them around his altar. Then Elijah did something very strange. He asked the people to pour water over his bull and the wood. Huh? Did he just ask us to pour water over his altar? Yeah. How will the wood burn if we pour water on them? <laughs> he is a fool. If Baal can't help us, then how can his god send the fire? People did as Elijah said. They poured water over the woods and the bull. Everything now was soaked in water. After the entire altar was soaked, Elijah stepped forward and simply prayed. Oh Lord, 
God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel. Show us today that you are the real God of Israel and that all I have done is obeyed you. Show your power to these wavering people. Let them see that you are the one true God. Just as Elijah finished his prayer, fire burst out of the altar and everything was covered in flames. Every single thing was burned down to nothing and even the water in the trenches were gone. Huh? The people watched completely amazed and they began to fall on their knees. The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is real God. We are sorry, Lord. You are the true God. What? How did that happen? Run! Run for your lives! Catch the priest of Baal. Let no one escape. Kill them! Kill them all. Run away if you want to save yourself. Ahab escaped from there and reached the palace. He explained what took place at Mount Carmel. Jezebel grew furious when she heard that all the priests of Baal had been killed. How could you let that happen? I'm sorry, dear. I couldn't do anything. I? I swear by Baal, whom I worship, that Elijah will be dead by tomorrow. Elijah knew that Jezebel would send men to kill him. He fled into the wilderness. He was tired and took rest under a tree. Lord God, I can do no more. I'm sorry. I'm no better than my forefathers who were killed. Let me die too. Elijah fell asleep under that tree, but sometime late, an angel of God woke him up. Elijah. Huh? Huh? Get up and eat. You still have a long way to go. He was strengthened by the bread and water. He then walked for 40 days and 40 nights to reach Mount Horeb. <sighs> <sighs> This is the mountain of the Lord, the mountain Abraham climbed to sacrifice Isaac, the mountain where God made the covenant with Israel. I need to go up and hide myself there. Elijah climbed up the mountain. And he hid himself inside one of the caves. He stayed there for many days. Suddenly, an earthquake took place. Huh? What's happening? This was followed by a storm and a fire. Ah! 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 This was then followed by a gentle breeze. Elijah then walked to the entrance of the cave. God! What's happening? Elijah, what are you doing here? My Lord, all your prophets have been killed. Only I am left now and the soldiers are hunting for me too. Elijah, there are still 7,000 people in Israel who haven't bent their knees before Baal. Go back to Israel, anoint Elisha to be your successor. I'm going to execute what I said against Ahab. As commanded by the Lord, Elijah returned to Israel for his revolutionary mission. Hmm. He must be Elisha. Did Ahab die as God had warned? Yes, Ahab went to war against Ben-Hadad, king of Syria. He was mortally wounded in the war and he died later on. And what happened to Jezebel? She died too as God had warned and because of the sins she had committed, her body was eaten by dogs. <laughs>